everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Okay, it is the end of September, so it's September favourites time. So this is all the products I've loved during the month of September and one that I was a little bit disappointed with. So I'm going to get straight on with it and the first product which I have been using since it arrived is the Tanya Bear, Co Tanya Bear Cosmetics Hollywood Eye Palette. So it's this really cute new packaging. She's rebranded, released some new products and this is just gorgeous. So it's a little compact with a heart mirror and four really nice neutral sort of golden shades and they are just gorgeous. I'll just see if I can swatch a couple. I'll just swatch the bottom two. So that is the bottom two, just to show you the colour payoff is really nice. It lasts so well on my eyes. I get, I do get wrinkling, but they're, they're just lovely. And I've got some more products from her on the way from the UK. You can get these at Superdrug if you are in the UK. If you're not feeling unique, have them. I'll pop the links below. And they're really easy to get your hands on. They're very affordable and they're lovely quality. So highly recommend them. Next product up is a lip a lip product. I wouldn't say it's a gloss because it dries down to a velvet. It's from All About Makeup, which are a Melbourne store. I have started just playing with a few things from them recently. They're in Mooney Ponds and they also have a pop-up store at High Point Shopping Centre. So this dries down, as I said, to a velvet finish. It's called Nectar. Now just to see, just to show you how crazy this is, look, that's just one, actually hold the applicator right. We'll try that again. So hang on. <laughs> rubbish at this, I really am. One swipe, there you go. So the colour is just sensational. There's such a strong colour. It's a beautiful, beautiful neutral, and I really like it, and it stays on. I've had full meals, drinks. It's been on for six, seven hours, and I haven't had to retouch, so it's really, really nice. I really highly recommend them, and as I said, they're in Mooney Ponds and High Point, so I'll link them below. Okay, so the next product I did try this out thoroughly before I did spend the money. I did pop to a couple of Cosmetica, Mecca Cosmetica stores because I didn't want to ask for too many samples at one store. But this is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil from Sunday Riley and it is very expensive. So if you are interested in getting it, I highly recommend getting some samples. It's a really lovely little bottle. It's got a dropper. So it's a well and truly packaged, so if you do get sent this through, through the mail, don't worry about it getting broken, because it won't. Now, it is a bit freaky when you first see it, because it is a blue oil. I'll just pop a drop of it on my hand. It's a blue oil, but it rubs in, and I pop this on every other night, and I use another oil in between. So that blue does go, and it's just amazing. My skin is hydrated. It feels better. So I'll just read what it is saying about it. So it's next generation retinol oil improves, sorry, start again, reduces pore size, improves appearance of damaged skin and helps fight wrinkles. So I don't have an issue with pores, but I have I do have damaged skin, I have broken capillaries, I have redness, I have just general dulling on my skin and obviously I'm 44 so I am starting to get wrinkles and bags and all sorts of horrible horrible things that you get when you get old. So <laughs> with all that said, I very, very much recommend this. This is a really nice product but as I said, Mecca will give you samples quite readily, so don't feel that you can't go in and ask for a sample because you can. The girls are all lovely, and try it out. I mean, you get you get a little sample pot that will last you a good week, so you get to really see how the product works. So I highly recommend that one. Another product from Mecca Maxima, I got the day that this was released, or the day after, so I've worn it for quite a while. This is the Born This Way Foundation from Too Faced. I'm in the colour Light Beige. Not for much longer though, because once I get suntan, I'll have to go and get another one. I I love this stuff. I can't speak highly about it, or highly enough about it. I know there's a bit of a mixed, some people it doesn't sit well on the skin, it creases, it crinkles, it sits badly on dry patches. For me, with my normal to dry skin, this looks flawless. I, I highly dispute the claim that it's undetectable because it's just so detectable, it's not funny, but it is really, really nice. Not a cheap foundation. I think it's Australia, I think it's $58. So again, Mecca will provide you with a sample and also colour match you. For me, I love it. I know, as I said, there's some hit and miss reviews on YouTube, but 
huge thumbs up for me. I also really like the Born, not Born This Way, what's it called? Sorry, that was the last one. <laughs> it's the Benefit They're Real Mascara in brown. So this is what I have on today. And I really, really do love the natural look. The only thing I would say is I've only had this on for a couple of hours. And you can see here, I've always already got some smudging from it. But I do like the fact that it's brown. So what I normally do is pop it on my top lid. And then underneath, I actually very, very subtly use a bit of black. So what I've actually got on today is I've also got their um, concealer under my eyes. So between the two products and the warm weather, it hasn't stayed on very well considering I only just did my makeup. But I do love the colour of that. Okay, next favourite is something I've had and I've been using it for about a year. It's the Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster. And as I'm a package hoarder, it is still in its box. So what this is, it gives you exactly what it says. It gives you a golden glow. So what you do with this is when you pop your moisturiser on, and I only do this at night, you take off the lid, obviously. Tip it upside down, there's a button. You press the button and it will pop out a couple of drops. I think I pop two or three drops in my moisturiser, mix it up and just press it into my face. And over a few days, you just develop a slight golden glow. Now, I have seen some really silly reviews on YouTube about this saying, oh, I didn't get a glow, I didn't get it, I did, it's supposed to be fake tan, I didn't get brown. It's not supposed to do that, it's literally supposed to give you a glow. So if you want a fake tan, buy a fake tan. This is just to give you that shimmering, exactly what it says, golden glow. So really love that stuff. And it does take two or three days to build up on me. And it also fades really nicely. You don't get any weird patches that you do with some fake tans. So highly recommend that. And what else do I have? I have, okay, so I went into Tom Ford a while ago at David Jones and I bought a lipstick. But I was having a bit of a check out of their perfumes and... I didn't want to buy one outright because they're quite expensive. So I did ask for a sample. And look at this, guys. This is, I should show you the packaging it comes in first. Now, they don't have them readily available. They make them up for you. So this is the little box that the sample came in. And then they've got these gorgeous little vials. So this is four mils. And it's an eau de parfum. So they stick the label on. And now this is the Tom Ford Mandarino Diamalfi. And it is absolutely beautiful i've used it a few times it's got a really nice i mean obviously mandarins um it's just nice it's got that nice spring summer sort of beachy it's really fresh and i will be buying a full size one or my husband will be getting one for christmas um but yes really <laughs> he doesn't know that yet so we won't tell him really really love that Next, I have some melts that I really like. Now, these are Akoya. I've been using these for years. These are the Jasmine Sweet, sorry, Sweet Pea and Jasmine Melts. So this is a new box because I've just finished them, the old box. So that is what the melts look like. Really nice, really quite sweet. So if you don't like sweet, you might not like these, but these are, I, I alternate between these and the French pear. A couple of skincare favorites that I'm really enjoying. I have got the Simple, Scar Simple, I can't speak today, Simple Kind to Skin Micellar Cleansing Water. And as you can see, I'm almost finished with this. It is exactly what it says. It's very, very kind to your skin. It's very gentle, but it gets so much gunk off. I double cleanse. I usually go in with quite a heavy cleanser to remove my makeup, and then I go in with this again. And it is really, really lovely. So I'm really enjoying using that. And the other product that I'm really, really liking is the Kiehl's Calendula Herbal Extract Toner, and it's alcohol free. So it's got these, I've shown this on a video before, I think on a, this is what I got video. Um, and it's got these pieces in it, but it's a really, really gentle toner, but it's very effective and it again gets extra, you should just see that the, when you think your skin's clean and then you use this, the extra grime and grubby just yuck, it comes off your skin. <laughs> so I, really, I highly recommend that one too. And what else have I got to show you? Ah, now, I have mentioned before that I have had to go gluten-free because of gluten allergies, obviously. And most of the gluten-free processed food I have found has been pretty revolting. The bread I don't like. Um, it's just 
bland and doesn't taste very nice, but I did find some little snack lunch products that I am absolutely loving. These are the street snacks from Sunrise. So that's what it looks like. It's obviously the chili con carne and rice. It's got a little bowl inside and a little sachet with the chili mix. You pop it in the microwave for one minute and it is absolutely gorgeous. Gluten-free, there are two other flavors. I have a pad thai and a satay chicken. So I wanted to mention them. I'm gonna be talking about these a little bit later in another uh, video where I touch on gluten a little bit more. So that was something that I've been really loving for food. And I have another favorite, which is under the desk that I have to show you. So just bear with me while I grab it. This is my planner. Now this is from Kiki K and I love it. I, I've gone from a big planner to a small one to my phone and I just prefer to write things down. So without showing you all my mess, there is a very, very nice size planner. I'll just grab a calendar page. So you can have a month, Obviously, I haven't written anything in July because I didn't get it until after that. But I then, so I've got the month to month, and then I've also got the day to a page. Just try and show you a page again that's not got anything on it. So it's got that, and there's all sorts of other sections in there. I absolutely love this. I have it on my desk. It really helps me plan out my week and my month. And there are also really cute, I'll show you another day, but there's really cute little stickers and cute little cards that you can pop in with that. So it's a really nice uh, planner. I think it was about $80, so it's not cheap, but it is leather. I've actually then got and one more product to physically show you, and then I've got three other types of favourites. So I have a disappointing product, and it wasn't a cheap one, so I'm a little bit irritated by the quality, to be honest, or on my lips, I should say. So it's the By Terry Terribly Velvet Rouge. Now, it's a velvet lipstick, so that is what it looks like. So it's got the lovely packaging. Again, it's a nude. It's got a kind of cool applicator. I'll just do a swatch for you. So again, it's my typical colour that I would gravitate towards, but it just doesn't stay on. It doesn't last on my lips. It bits up, crumbles off, and it's just terrible. And for the amount of money that that costs, I was actually really disappointed with that. And there are a lot better liquid lip products for a lot cheaper. For instance, it's all about makeup. So <laughs> it's exactly the same product, practically exactly the same color. This has actually got better payoff. So yeah, really disappointed with the By Terry and I usually love their products. Now, my last three favorites are, first of all, a TV favorite and that is Vikings. I've recently uh, subscribed to Netflix and I've watched the two seasons that are available and I can't wait to watch the third. So if you want to really, it's kind of gory, but if you if you want a really cool action packed series to watch, I highly recommend Vikings. And then my final two favorites are two YouTubers and they're both really bad because they enable me, <laughs> they make me buy things. The first one is Sharon Farrell. I love her. I adore her. I've been watching so many of her videos. There are quite a few things that crop up in my favourites that are because of her. And my second favourite is a new video, a new YouTuber to me. She's been around obviously for a while. I've just discovered her. And it's Harry Makes It Up. She's a British makeup artist. And she's just amazing. So I've already, I've already been buying things that she's been using in her videos. So I will link those girls both below. They're very, very worth watching. Both of them are professional makeup artists and they really know what they're talking about. So if you want some proper tips and tricks from someone who is qualified, I highly recommend both those girls. That is pretty much it. Have I forgotten anything? Possibly, but whatever. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop talking. I'll list the products below that I've used. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. If you've got any videos that you'd like to see for makeup, for makeup looks, which I'm going to try and do a lot more of, even hair tutorials, because I mean, I normally have my hair tied up because, especially in the summer, um, let me know in the comments box and I'll try and get round to them and even nail videos because you know I'm a nail tech if you watch me so anything that you want to see thumbs up if you like the video if I haven't already said that and please subscribe guys because I really appreciate your support so stay tuned because I've got some really cool giveaways coming up very soon okay thanks for watching guys bye